So you want to know how to take notes in a way that also is displayable on a website. It will look like this and it's pretty nifty. You could run it on GitHub for free. To do this, we'll be using Python and pip to install something called MK, uh, mkdocs. And in this case, I'll be going with material for mkdocs because it just looks nicer and has a bunch of nice pre-built features. Uh, to get started, we'll be running, uh, uh, we'll be installing it first. So pip install mkdocs, I already have it installed. Uh, uh, to do to use pip, you need to install Python. There are plenty of online tutorials available for that. Uh, then to make a new one, we'll just say mkdocs new, then it will make a new one in the current folder that we're in. As you, as you can see here, it has made one and it has made an index.md, which would end up looking like this. And then to preview our changes, we will be running mdocs serve. Uh, but now when we open the website, it'll look like this and not like this. So it doesn't really look as nice. To do that, we just need to add some lines to our mkdocs.yml file. Uh, you can give it a name here. And then we paste in our theme and name material, which you can find on this GitHub, which I have linked in the description below. Uh, but yes, now everything looks nice and how it's supposed to be. So how MKDocs uh, splits up packages uh, or known packages notes is by folder. So we can create a new folder and call it, uh, let's call it math. Uh, if we go in here, nothing has updated, but as soon as we make a new file and call it, I don't know, 101 dot, dot md, this is important because it's going to be in markdown. As soon as this has been created, the page reloads. And if we open it here in full screen, we'll be able to see that a math has been created with 101 available right here. Currently it's empty and I'll be showing you the basics of markdown now. So to make a heading or a title, uh, we can just use one hashtag and then give it a name and you can preview it on this site. I'm using, you could use whatever editor you like. I currently am using a PyCharm, but you can also use JetBrains Fleet or VS Code. Both of the, all three are great options available. Uh, this will make a heading. This would be normal text. And if we want a subheading, we can add two hashtags and sub or well head heading two and then heading three would be three hashtags heading three uh and i think we can we can do four even one two three four yes one two three four five yes and so on i would you would never need need this many uh to make a list we have the option to make a numbered list for example using one and then uh, element one then two, it already adds it, three, adds it, four, adds it. We don't actually need to number it. If we do 22, for example, it would stay as uh, as the numbered list normally. I don't really know why this is a thing, but this is just how it does it. Uh, if, but if we could also make a list using dashes, uh, for example, dash example, and it automatically converts it to a point. Uh, we can tap it in and then we can add another one and then it does a sub point and we can even tap that in and then it will make a square for us. Uh, and the, from there on it's just going to be squares. Uh, now let's make some hyperlinks. Uh, for example, let's say we want to redirect to a website. Uh, in this case, I'll be redirecting to the tutorial page. So first we say, uh, I don't know, anything. I'll just call it GitHub. Uh, and we wrap that in square brackets. At the end of these square brackets, we make normal brackets and put in the link. And now you can see here, it is linkable. And when you click it, the website opens. And if we go over here, we have whatever we've made available on the website. We click GitHub and the website opens. But now you might want to uh, publish your website openly so that anyone can see it and you can share it with your friends or you can even work together on the same notes. To do this, you'll need to uh, uh, publish your repository on GitHub uh, and create a file called uh, located in .github slash workflows and the file is called ci.yml. So we just go in here into the root directory, make a new file at that location. 
uh, and then we fill it with uh, what the documentation, the official documentation says, which would be this. Uh, we go here, we paste it in. After you've added that line, in your actions tab in GitHub, the uh, page build and the uh, uh, pushed changes will appear each time you push, and it takes around one minute to complete com to complete fully. And then you can access your page, add whatever in your settings, at GitHub Pages. It says in my case it's a custom domain, but you, uh, the default one would be if we just go in here, default one would be your username dot github dot io slash and then whatever the repository name is.